stone, she says, this ain't working for me anymore. But you've kept her from getting to that place. Do you see that? I mean, do you see it or are you just... No, I see it. I certainly do. I think all of us, in our own way, saw the potential of death, potential of prison. They say you have to hit rock bottom. We've tried to be the last step before rock bottom, and it doesn't work. One, two, three people, sober, mature adults, cannot figure this out. No. And you expect a child whose brain was arrested and damaged at 14 to figure it out? You're going to let her make the decisions? You're going to, you, come on. You said, if I didn't pay this family off, she'd be in prison. Well, you, at least you know where she was. Yeah. Dr. Phil, we're looking for you to give us guidance. In, well, I'm giving you guidance. I'm telling believe you. Believe me, we will follow anything that we think can help her. But you, this today can't be the first time this has ever come clear to you, or is it? Is this the first time it has ever come crystal clear to you what's going on here? No, we have, I have attempted to back off, to cut back, to get her into professional help, because I can't do it. Is this the first time you have ever admitted to yourself that you are an agent of death in your daughter's life? Perhaps. Because if you don't get it, there's no point in us going forward. Somebody has to get you to pull your head out and recognize what you're doing here is selfish. What you're doing here is to make you feel better not to get her well. She deserves to get well. Yes, she does. Everything I can understand about her before she stopped being who she was. The last time we knew you, it's my understanding that she was a sweet, delightful, intelligent, vibrant, engaging young woman. Absolutely. Look how happy she looks, how healthy she looks. And then she makes some bad choices, and her family conspires to compound it. So you don't have to deal with the fact that you haven't been a perfect family, that you haven't been perfect parents. So I don't know what to tell you. I mean, you come in, you know, you're, you're, you're rude and dismissive of my staff. I'm not the star of this show. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to make her look bad. I don't want to this. I don't want to that. For somebody that says you don't know what you're doing, you sure as hell act like a know-it-all. You're telling all these people here, I'm not going to talk about this. Don't ask me that. Don't want to talk about this. Don't want to talk about that. So which is it? You either say, look, obviously I don't know where we're going, or I do, and I'm going to start making pronouncements to everybody about how things ought to go. I'm completely lost. This is not the first time you've said that. It's not the first time you've agreed with a professional, and Jordan is well aware of it. Your word means nothing. No, I don't. It means nothing. So what do you want him to say? So you do this. You take this over and tell I don't us know what, what I want him well, to you're, say. You've you got I, a lot to say. What is it you want him to say? You're criticizing I want him for him saying to I'm lost. for help for himself and for his daughter. Um, I, I see him differently than y'all do. I think you are really well intentioned. I think you would give everything you had for her to be healthy and well. But I think you're terribly misguided. I agree. I think you love your daughter very much. He does. He does. He does love his daughter. And I think you just don't know what to do. That's correct. And I think when I ask you if you will say no to her, you say yes and you mean it. Whether you will do it in the moment or not remains to be seen. But I know this, from this point forward, when you hand her money, you might as well take a syringe and put it in her arm. And if that's what you want for your daughter, then not just keep giving her money, because that's what you're doing. She's told you that straight up, true? You might as well just do it. And, and you'll know, the next time you do it, you'll know, I'm, I'm killing my daughter here. So I can feel good. All right, we're gonna take a break, and I'm gonna excuse Jordan from this conversation for right now. We'll be right back. <laughs>